Hello everyone, today I'm opening up a Hitachi Death Star 7K250 hard disk and a word of warning before we start opening up a hard drive outside a professional clean room means you'll essentially kill the drive and my living room is hardly clean so here we go um, let's give it some power and see what happens before we uh, open it up As you can hear, it has some problems uh, spinning up. Let's give it a little shake and see if that helps. You can hear something seems to be dragging over the surface and this could well be a typical hard drive head crash. The disc feels imbalanced as I hold it like this and I um, haven't heard that before but that's interesting. After removing a few screws at the top let's open it up and there you have it the top platters look damaged so this is an actual hard disk head, head crash. Uh, usually the heads of the disk which uh, read and write data to the disk are supposed to float above the platters on an air cushion uh, created by the spinning discs but when this air cushion is gone uh, for one of the heads then that head will drag over the surface and create scratches and make squeaking noises Let's uh, try to help it a bit. There you go. And there's the ticking noise again. Uh, it looks like the firmware is trying to park the head to protect the platters, but it fails to do so. When I try to push the heads to the parking uh, spot manually, it won't go in either. Now let's try to remove the top platter. Uh, removing the holding ring on the top and then turn it upside down let the top platter slide off The reverse side of this platter is completely clean as you can see and so is the middle platter and we will take a look at this toward the end of this clip. And if I give it a spin now, no more noises. Also the head can suddenly be parked again. 
seems like the top uh, topmost head was the problem here. There are separation rings between the platters. Uh, let's get the top one out here as well. Okay, now to remove the head arm or actuator, as some call it, uh, with the heads, we need to remove the circuit board on the back. And removing the head arm itself can be a bit difficult. Uh, that's because uh, parts of this uh, construction are strong magnets. And then what you see is this. This is the voice coil motor that positions the actuator uh, with the heads. And there's the actuator itself. And let's cut this flat cable here off with their heads. When we reassemble this piece, you should notice there is no friction between the motor and the actuator. And the actuator is uh, very light and it um, allows for very fast and precise movements with only a very small amount of power. But of course, uh, some of the magic is at the tip of the actuator where the magnetic heads are. And you may notice that the top head doesn't seem to have an actual head on it anymore. Uh, this could have caused the air cushion to disappear and for the head to scratch to the surface. Here's a close-up of the damage that did. Quite a catastrophe for this disc. And also take a look at the traces left by a single fingerprint. Alright, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this vid and learned a bit about how an old-fashioned hard drive works.